Hi, this is John Guidry, and welcome back to another uh, installment of uh, Multicart Madness. <laughs> I've been working with Tercy um, on a multicart for the TI. So right here, what you see is you see a 27C040, which is a 512K chip on this cartridge board. And this uh, 512K chip also has a 74LS379 bank switching chip as well, which can bank switch 128K. So right here what you have basically is a chip that can dress 128k times 4. And if you look at the switch, you have up up, down down, up down and down up. So you've got four different ways of um or four different banks on this 512k chip. Um kind of show you where the uh the action is here. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and uh we're going to we're going to power it up here and uh thanks to Thanks to Tercy, we've got this nice little multi-cart menu that's going to pop up here. And uh, we can pick any one of these games here. Um, Claire, which one do you want to pick? Um. How about we pick St. Nick since tomorrow's Christmas? No, you don't want St. Nick? What do you want? Princess and the Frog? Okay, we'll pick Princess and the Frog. <laughs> So you just press the press the letter, and then there there goes the uh, the game. And uh, he also um, he also has a, a joystick, uh, I believe, or yep, a joystick to where you can take the TI joystick. You press the fire button, and here comes this little arrow, and you can move the the arrow around and select your game. So we wanted to pick Saint Nick. Oh, there it is. And basically, to get this to reset until we until we build a little uh, switch here that'll release the power on the 74 LS 379, um, you have to actually turn the console off to get it to go ahead and uh, go back into uh, the multi-cart menu. Else, for example, so let's say let's pick Saint Nick again, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to reset the console. And notice you get Saint Nick again because the the 74 LS 379 that does the bank switching does not have a reset pin. And the only way you can get it to reset right now without a switch to cut the power off of it is to turn the console off. So um, there's there's plenty of uh, other other games on here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one off. And here you see some more 8K programs. Let's, let's flip the switches again, and even more 8K programs. Now let's flip the switch one more time, and here's the last set of 8K programs. So if you look at this theoretically, um, each of these, each of these uh, games, uh, these 8K games in here, or I mean each of these 128K banks, you can have actually um, quite a few games in here. And you can put, I believe, if you take the um, the four banks for the um, the multi-cart program out of the equation. I believe you can put 60 programs onto this uh, cartridge here. Uh, that's that's quite a bit. It's 15 15 games a bank times four banks is 60. So uh, Turkey's multi cart will go here and scan all the banks for you and give you the opportunity to pick a program. So hey, I really do appreciate you uh, checking out this uh, demo here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to learn how to build one of these, I'd be more than happy to put the uh, schematics or put pictures of this one at least so you can follow along on uh, hexbus.com. So make sure you um, go visit there. Also, please check out the uh, TI99 Yahoo group. I'm going to be uh, getting a, another run of these cartridge boards made. And um, if I order a batch of 100, they're going to run $15 a piece assembled. Or if you want to, uh, if I run a batch of 250, they're going to be 9.99 a piece assembled. That's cost um, plus postage and handling. So if you're interested, uh, read the Yahoo group. There's a link on there that will go to a form where you can go ahead and pre-order one of these. So anyway, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody, and uh, have a great and ha happy New Year.